Hello everybody, it's Paul here from Warden's Farm. It's been a little bit since my last video, but a lot has happened since then. A fellow beekeeper at Cole's Farm, which is not too far from here, uh, he had a little bit of vandalism at his bee yard, and he ended up losing, I think it was five hives out of his nine, and he had four left. So due to the circumstances there, I offered my help so we moved three of his beehives here yesterday I'm gonna treat them three for mites today and he's got one weak hive we may end up having to give it some uh, either pollen patties some sugar water something just make sure they got enough stores to keep going on during the mite treatment and hopefully all of them will make it through the winter because they haven't been treated for mites it's kind of running late so we're gonna give them a whirl and hopefully we can get you into the hive, show you what the apple guard can do. We'll check out the strength of his hives. And if things need to be moved around, either uh, in the medium boxes, maybe move some honey around to uh, sustain the weaker hives, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go get into it. As you can see, my hives are white and other colors and Cole's farm they're usually red and white he has his hives there and he has a couple down the hill so we're going to get into these three hives and we're going to inspect them and give them mite treatments and it should be a lot of fun they might be a little ornery from just being moved but we'll go from there this is Cole's hive that's the weaker out of his hives. So we're giving him just a little bit of smoke. And we're gonna give him some underneath here. And we'll start taking a look. Looks pretty good though. A lot of good bee activity. Got a few dead bees on the lid, but that's kind of to be expected probably from the move and from they were cooped up for a couple of days till we got them moved here so we'll take off this inner cover check make sure there's no queen here I don't see any crooked wing there's a young bee right here on top I want to check this bee out because it does look a little different. That could be a problem for mites. We'll get rid of that one. Gonna move this board like I always do right in front of the hive. Just give them a little bit of smoke, calm them down. Send them down into the hive. Some of them haven't been moved in a while looking at them because they're sealed really tight. Dead hive beetle here on the top. Nothing going on in that frame. A couple of these hives may need a little bit of help. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to help out a fellow beekeeper. They got some stores on this one side. Mainly just the one side. back down. Come on girls. So we'll keep checking this box and then when we get down into the deep we'll take a look. Here's some bees that are hatching out here. They actually some are look dead in the cells. They're not moving. Got an old queen cell here that is hatched out. 
So there might be a new queen in here. Oh, more queen cells. They are not capped. So these bees may think they need to supersede their queen that they presently have, and they may have already. I haven't found any queen cells or any eggs of yet are chewing out dead bees. There's another queen cell that they've chewed a couple out. So I'm almost positive this hive has probably a new queen. Just by what I'm seeing here in hive, his hive number one. Oh, but look at here. What's that right there? That's a queen cell that's almost ready to hatch. So this is a queen cell. Right there. So for the next treatment, in two weeks we'll see what they're doing with it. it took me a little bit with the top box because they had so much propolis built up on everything. And I went from a 10 frame down to nine because they just don't have enough stores to keep 10 frames up. So you can see there's a lot of propolis that I knocked off here. We're gonna take the feeder out make sure that there's nothing inside it that we don't want I just want to check it and then I want to clean out this bottom board there's another queen cell it is not charged there's nothing in it But it is a good board of pollen. You can see some pollen in there. I'm looking just to make sure there's no queen. There's not there. Now here is a very heavy food frame. But the problem is, is they also have dead bees in there. So, it just shows there's a little bit of problem, but they'll clean out them dead bees. I don't see any moths or anything, so that's a good thing. All right, we're down to the last two frames in the bottom box. There are no eggs in any of it that I have found. Taking off the burr comb on the bottom because they don't need it. Have not found a queen. So, with cleaning up the propolis and everything else they have on these hives, or in this hive, it should help them out. We're gonna give them some food. We got rid of a bunch of the dead bees. And all I can do is help this hive. And hopefully we'll get it back to life here. And uh, all will be good. Oh man, are they propolis then. There it goes. I'm on out of there. There we go. So, let's see if there's a queen on this last frame. Uh, there's a bee with crooked wing virus. 
Let's get rid of that one. That tells me it's a mite problem. That's why we're going to be treating for mites. And hopefully we'll be able to save this hive. And all will be well in a couple weeks when we come back in for the next mite treatment. And hopefully we'll have a queen laying eggs since we do have the one queen cell so now that we're putting this hive back together we added some apigard a spacer fed them quite a bit of feed I'm dumping these out All right, let's put this on the right way. Okay, we got them there. We got beetle traps. And I gotta move this just a little bit to put some feed strips in here. Just to give them a little bit of extra stuff. See how they react to it. See how hungry they are. These are pollen patties. They're already on the sugar water that I added. So now let's see what happens. I can only hope good things for this high. And we'll see in two weeks.